So far, we've talked about five challenges in an EMI course. Let's look at some more. A sixth challenge is maintaining relationships between you as the instructor and your students. If you only speak in English, that relationship can be not as strong. For example, you might have fewer discussions. This is an important point to keep in mind, and, have an, and that's an area where your native language can be very useful. The seventh challenge is also about students. That is size. Having a large EMI class is very difficult since students need more individualized instruction in an EMI course. The eighth challenge won't come as a surprise. This is that EMI courses are extra work and time for the instructor. Some institutions pay EMI lecturers more money, and others reduce their overall teaching load to make sure EMI lecturers have the time they need to plan and to deliver these classes. Related to instructors, the ninth challenge is that lecturers often feel underprepared for teaching in EMI and feel that there aren't enough qualified EMI teachers. And a final and related challenge is with instructional support. Lecturers who are teaching EMI courses often don't receive the training or support they need in order to help students learn in English. This can mean support with on-campus services, tutors, or other faculty, or also support in terms of written guidelines for how to teach through EMI. In fact, this particular course was created in order to meet this need of teachers to further develop the skills they need in order to teach EMI. And it's important to keep in mind that in spite of these challenges, many EMI courses do succeed. We'll be aware of these challenges and identify some solutions to making EMI work in your courses. So how did your list compare with mine? If you have challenges that we didn't discuss here, be sure to keep notes about those and consider your unique challenges when you design your EMI course.